Have I told you that I want to make a movie called My Penis? Yeah, what's that about? Well, I just It's a short film, right? <laughs> And you can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for juicy content. So, so what is juicy. the actual fool about? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> and today we are doing a movie review, you little uh, people. Uh, not, I mean, I'm sure people that are watching this aren't all small people. I said little people. Unless, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, today we are reviewing the new film that came out, uh, I think it was Friday, I think. Was it? I think so. Oh, uh, I don't know. Surarari Puru. You forgot the T's there. Putru. Okay. How would you pronounce that? Uh, Surari Putru. And I uh, have no idea if that's anywhere remotely close to being right. Uh, directed by, say, say, uh, uh, and written, it looks like. Yeah, directed and written by Suda Kongara. A bunch of other people as well were yes. writers. Uh, starring, um, say, I guess the, the leads. Um, Aparna Balamorali. And then, then no, I'm going to mispronounce those names, and Surreya. Surreya. Uh, the, or Surya, if who, I'm, forgive me. He's a huge star in South India. Uh, he also produced this film, and it, Amazon bought the rights to it. Yeah. Because no one can go into theaters right now, so Amazon and yeah. Netflix are just buying everything up. Yeah. Uh, but it's a uh, Tamil film uh, based on a on true events. The film itself is obviously not all a true story, right? But the overall events is a true story of this airlines that's uh, budget airline, I guess. Yeah, in India. Yes, that my, my understanding was inspired. Partly by what Southwest did here. Oh, uh, okay. I read up about it somewhat. Is that that was part of the inspiration was an, an economy airline that would make it reasonable to do short flights and be that anybody could fly. Mm. Yeah. So, Rick, your initial thoughts. Well, I don't I don't have a paragraph, but I do have a lot I want to say, particularly about something that when I was watching it, mm -hmm. it revealed something for me that's been a challenge with some of the films we've seen, but I've yet to articulate it. So uh, as a, as a whole, I just I didn't like it. Mm -hmm. I, I, I it it uh, the Surya yes did a fine job with what he was given to do. Yeah, um, I don't have any complaints with what he was expected to do and what the project was in and of itself. Uh -huh. But uh, I'll I can get into the things as to why it is because it's a very large picture thing for me in terms of. Um, Everything from stereotypes to tropes to, it, it, I have a lot to say about it. So that's my initial thing. Is just I I didn't I didn't you didn't like it. it yet. Gotcha. Um, it was definitely a mixed bag for me. Um, there was stuff I liked, and there was stuff I I, I didn't like at all. Yeah. Um, so it was definitely it was for sure a mixed bag. I I actually really enjoyed the lead the two leads. Uh, him. Yeah, and, and his and, wife. Uh, what's her name? Yeah, I agree. I should have said that at the outset as well. She was equally, given what she was given, I think that they both did the best that they could do with what they were given. Um, and I, I, I did, if I would say, was there anything I enjoyed about it, that would be it, would be the two leads. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, say her name for me, please. Uh, Aparna Balamorali. Looks like she was in the M Malayalam film with, that we haven't seen yet with uh, Fahad Fasil. Oh, yeah. Oh, Let's say say the name. Oof, Mahashinte Pratikaram. Um, that's the next fought for one that a lot of people really want us to watch. Um, so let us know about that because yeah. I actually really enjoyed. She looked very familiar, actually. She did. Yeah, Weren't you I trying to place her the yeah, whole time? I was. Like, I was. I'm like, you. So I've we might have seen, seen her in ten films. And you guys <laughs> uh, yeah, that. but I. So I'm going to go over the stuff I did enjoy. Uh, I did enjoy them. Yeah, I thought they were real nice. I, I enjoyed learning about the overall story of this. Uh, the telling was iffy for me because mm -hmm. uh, I prefer stories being told more uh, realistic. And this was definitely a film that was, they were trying to be a blockbuster film yes. with a true story. Right. Which is fine. It's just uh, my cup of tea, especially with true stories, is just more realistic. Uh, and that if you're going to stylize it, yeah. stylize it in a way that is more glancing to the history yeah. versus 
completely not true. Yeah. Um, like an example for that would be the Greatest Showman. Oh yeah. P.T. Barnum was not the way Hugh Jackman depicts him at all. He was quite evil. But Jackman said at the outset, "We never attempted to try to do a biopic. We were taking." the the P.T. Barnum character and the characters around him mm -hmm. and basically made that into just a 90-minute musical story with a little moral about being kind to people. Mm. They never intended for anybody to think this was a biopic about P.T. Barnum. Jackman repeatedly was telling people, we know that he had a dark history. Mm -hmm. This is not a historical account. We're just basically taking these characters and turning it into this musical fun thing. Mm. That I'm okay with, yeah. but so yeah. I, I enjoyed learning about the the overall history of this airlines at least. Um, that part I enjoyed. I actually really enjoyed the songs. Uh, I thought the songs were real nice. I, I don't know if I just same with like I I kind of bought into it because right from the outset you were like this is like a this is a blockbuster film. Right, that's what they're trying to do. So the songs. But I thought they were great songs. The composition of all the songs was real nice. Uh, I enjoyed their love story. The le the main two, um, I thought they had a, a really good dynamic, mm -hmm. which goes into what I really enjoyed about the film was those two uh, and their dynamic. Um, and yeah, uh, the the biggest issue for me with this film was probably just I, I don't know. Maybe it's just the style, like the stylistic of wanting to be the the big mass movie uh, telling this story, which is just not my cup of tea. And a lot of the, uh, at least side characters, mm -hmm. they'd fell into one of those things. A lot, there was a bunch of bad actors, or at least Man. bad writing, or, Both. yeah, uh, especially with the side characters. And a lot of them were just like stereotypical, like the, the main villain, the guy. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it actually, the story's actually very similar to A Wonderful Life. <laughs> Uh, they, it was actually, kind of. uh, yeah. in terms of this guy, he's having a hard time. The village comes together to right. give them his money so he can and save them, save them. Right. And then there's Mr. Potter, who is the evil guy that right. who has no, no other motive but to hurt people. Yes. Yes. Uh, and so it was a very simplistic story and the characters outside, and I'm not talking about the main two. Like I said, I, I actually really enjoyed the main two. I would love to see both of them and more stuff. Um, but almost, uh, I'd say three fourths of the other cast mm -hmm. was either not good or the writing was just not good mm -hmm. uh, or, yeah. or a combination of both and it, it, it definitely I can enjoy a good mass movie of uh, course but when there's a bunch of actors that just it when they say their lines it doesn't sound believable right and it doesn't sound good right uh, it takes me out of it right um, and there goes suspension of disbelief yeah and so the party's over it, it's and I don't want to say this film, because I've seen way worse films than this, by, like, way worse films yeah. than this. Uh, I wouldn't agree. I'd give this film 65 to 70 out of 100. I'd give it, I'd give it almost a passing grade, but there's a bunch of stuff that keeps it probably from being yeah, a full-on passing grade. I absolutely agree with you. I wouldn't, um, I wouldn't give it an F. By, you no. Know, I, 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 there's a lot of things I would give it a C- minus yeah. for. And, and part of that is, uh, and here comes the, the, the larger picture for me, first and foremost... Uh, the historicity of it. I, I, I read up some stuff mm -hmm. because I was, I knew they were taking liberties, but they yeah. weren't, they didn't just take liberties. They just straight up, this is not the story. Gotcha. This is not how this airline was started. Gotcha. Um, there was, there was no grand villain in the airline industry. Um, mm. There wasn't any heroic saving of the plane as an engine blew up. Yeah, they I, didn't just take liberties. They just flat out retold history. Gotcha. So for me, it's one thing to take liberties, especially if you're going to go way out of line and do something like a retelling of history the way that Quentin does. Yeah. Where you completely reshape it on yeah. purpose. Somebody killed Hitler in a movie. Yeah, yeah, but there will be people who walk away from this thinking this is the way that Decca Airlines was created. Yeah. And it was just kind of hyper stylized. And that's just, that's just not the case. So that was the first thing. But the larger thing I was realizing while I was watching it and watching what they were doing in the development of the character, who they were taking this man from real life and turning him into the hero, mm -hmm. right? And we've talked about this before and it dawned on me and I wrote some things down. So they were staying true to the hero stereotype and the mythology. Yeah. Which in many cases, this film included, becomes more important than story and believability. Mm -hmm. The trope, right? Yeah. 
And that's why, for example, they have at the award ceremonies, they have uh, nominations for, for negative roles. Remember? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. One of the cardinal sins in acting and in storytelling, but particularly in acting, is to judge a character. So to make a presupposition that it's a negative role already places a judgment on the character, which is why you have a bad guy in this film who has no redeeming quality whatsoever. He is a stereotypical negative role. He's the anti-hero. Yeah. He's the hero. And they're, they're, for me, it's like, yeah, there's a place for that in cinematic creation the same way you could still make a horse and buggy, but that's great. It's just not really going to get me anywhere because what I want to get around in and what the common thing with cinematic storytelling is, is an automobile. Yeah. And I see it as an antiquated point of pre-evolutionary cinema where you're taking tropes and types and making that more important than history or even more so the believability of what you're watching, mm -hmm. which is, which, which creates these moments that become like when <clears throat> the minute smoke came out of the engine, I said out loud with a groan, He's going to save the plan. <laughs> I really doubt the guy who founded this airline is going to save the plan. Fine. And the judging of the characters. It isn't just about protagonist and antagonist. It's about hero and negative roles. Um, the scene with the friends and family giving money. Yeah. It wasn't a believably endearing moment because it was clearly orchestrated to create an emotional response. If the emotion isn't coming from a genuine place of honesty, either in relationship to the people or the circumstances, it's a manipulation. It's not a creation. Mm. I didn't feel like I was watching a genuine moment of people coming together to help him. Mm. I felt like I was being manipulated into thinking, oh my goodness, the whole family came in to mm. help him. Uh, and it's, it is a stylistic thing. Again, it has to do with tropes. It has to do with hero worship for the glorification of an ideal not only at the expense of truth, but the retelling of, of history that, that seems to deify a hero and demonize the industry. Like, there'd be people who walk away from this and go, man, the airline industry is freaking neat. Mm -hmm. Like, wow, it's so freaking cutthroat. There, there, was no, a, there was no attempt to undercut him by other airlines in the, in the history of the creation of Decca Airlines. Now, there may have been problems that he so faced, they just, which- They just did that, that for cinematic. Right, for cinematic. Yeah. For, for the sake of, they took a story, and said, we're gonna put it within the template of the hero myth, and we're now gonna sensationalize it and turn it into this kind of a film that for me, I just, it's really hard for me to watch. Because again, it's for me cinematically, like do being you, told, let's, let's, let's so drive cross country in a horse and carriage. The biggest issue was probably the writing. Uh, the, well, the writing and directing are together in that. I know, but like yeah. the the writing one. Died yeah, hundred percent. It, all, it always then, goes back to the writing. Um, also, just the creating of different events that wasn't an actual part of it. That's the writing, hundred um, percent. Yeah, yeah. Um, and like I said, I've seen bad films before, and I, like I said, I wouldn't classify this as definitely not the worst. But oh, obviously, no. I didn't enjoy it as much as I've enjoyed other films, uh, especially that even came out this way. We, you know, we loved Ludo because it was absolutely so unique the story of this one was fairly simple and mm -hmm. we've seen this story told a thousand i knew, I knew how this was a going thousand out. times yeah you know the underdog needs to find money finds it somehow blah 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 and so that that's that's one of the things that we're talking about yeah and and i would like to see more from the leads, the two leads. Because like I, I, said, I would too. Those are my favorite parts. I, uh, I think they did the best they could do with what they had. Example. I thought he was actually um, very small most of the time when the when this director and writer would let him. He was. What yeah. I would have preferred to have seen was... I thought she was great the whole time, though. I would have preferred to have seen the actual real struggle that the guy went through to create the airline. Yeah. Even if it was boring. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't need him to become the hero yeah. who uh, rips off his shirt and runs out and holds the planes with two ropes. That didn't happen in the film, but that kind of thing. Yeah. Um, I, I, the, to me, what would be heroic is watching some average dude doing everything he can with as little money as he possibly can. And, and that's who he was. That's yeah, who he was. just yeah. see that story versus taking uh, it and almost making it appear as if this is what happened. Because... Um, you know, it does say, granted, it does say taken from true story. I don't know what stories they used. Mm. I don't know about those stories where they came from. Yeah. Because uh, when you look at the history of the creation of Decca Airlines, there's none of that. None of that. None of that, none of that, that, that I found. Gotcha. So, yeah. 
But yeah, like I said, I definitely enjoyed the, the two leads. So please give us more stuff from them that we can react to because I know this guy's a huge star and she she was flawless the whole time. I loved her the whole time. There was one when, when he, I was hoping that she would say this one line because I loved her, her spunkiness, I guess you would say. Yeah, because uh, she was a very independent woman. Very. Uh, and, and I love that strong. Uh, when he slapped her, uh, I thought I thought it was a genuine moment out of anger, and he did it, and I thought he was genuinely sorry. Correct. I, I was it hoping, wasn't though, habitual. Yeah, I was hoping she was going to say, though, like, after she, you know, I'm pregnant, blah, blah, blah. If you ever hit me again, I'm going to cut your dick off. Right? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was hoping yeah. she was going to say. Yeah. Because I was like, I would believe she would say that. Yeah. She was... You know, she talked about, she was like, if you would have turned it down, I would have poisoned your food. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, I liked her character a lot. And like I said, I enjoyed the songs in this. I thought the style, especially the stylistic uh, way they were filmed, I thought was good. But like I said, I didn't hate the entire thing. But it's also, I probably will never watch this ever again. Oh, no. Um, but I wouldn't be opposed to watching more of the of two them? leads. Yeah, if, if, we were recommend, if we were recommended the film and either one of them were in the film, mm -hmm. I would be looking yeah. forward to watching it because yeah. they were, to me, the best thing about the movie. Absolutely. By far. By far. So, uh, let us know what you thought of the film down below. Let us know why we're a bunch of stupid white morons. Yeah. Uh, down below. Like Opinionated. You, like I know you will. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> white devils. Uh, <laughs> Let us know which next uh, Tamil film uh, and uh, from them as well we should watch down below.